It's Monday, July 27, 2015, and let's talk about what happened this weekend over at xdadevelopers.com. First up, several OnePlus stories popped up over the weekend. Possibly most important, they have opened up the invite queue for signups. Last time I looked, there were a ridiculous amount of signups already, as you would expect, but I definitely recommend going ahead and signing up over there, just in case. And with the upcoming OnePlus 2 launch, they've gone ahead and released their app for the event, so if you've got their cardboard, stop watching VR porn for just a minute and go ahead and install their app ahead of time. That way you can see the live event when it happens on the 27th. But just in case you don't have cardboard, they've also added in a cardboard-free version version of the app inside of that same app, so I do suppose one way or the other, if you're interested in seeing the OnePlus 2 event, just make sure to install their app. It's in the Play Store. However, in an interesting turn of events, a video showed up on YouTube with what appears to be the OnePlus 2, and it shows a 1080p screen, and an N22 score that, while it is still a good score, it's about 49,000, which is not really blowing anybody out of the water. Moving along though, as of this weekend, the Chromecast has officially been out for two years now, and to celebrate that, Google is providing a free movie rental through Google Play Movies. Keep in mind, this is probably only gonna work in certain locations, but it definitely does work. I already used mine this weekend for a date night with my wife. Giggity. Now, in a bit of bad but totally expected news, Sam Mobile has reported that Samsung Pay will not work on a rooted device. However, their initial thoughts were just off by a little bit. It's not actually rooting the device that's the issue. As you would probably expect, it's when you trip the Knox counter on your Samsung device. So if you have a device that's capable of doing Samsung Pay, feel free to go ahead and root it. Just do it in a way that doesn't trip the Knox counter and you should be okay to continue using Samsung Pay if that's something people are actually doing. Mario put together an article talking about running CyanogenMod 12.1 on the Asus Zenfone 2. It's something that I haven't actually tried myself yet, so if you're curious about his experience, go ahead and check out the portal post. A method for rooting a bunch of different variants of the LG G4 was released at long last. It's a bit of a stretch. Essentially, you have to flash an entirely new system partition to your device, and that system partition you flash is pre-rooted, so as long as they have a pre-rooted image for your device variant, it should be possible. Still, when the options are to root or not to root, that is the question. I know that most of you guys are going to choose to flash that, like, one and a half gigabyte system image rather than not being rooted. And to go along with that new root possibility, a new build of twerp has been put together for the T-Mobile variant of the G4, and I'm sure that others will come along before too much longer as well, so do make sure to check out the forum thread for links to download it. And apparently, when it received its update to Android 5.1, the Dell Venue 8 Model 7840 received the ability to be OE unlocked. So, to go along with that, a rooting tool is now available thanks to XDA senior member XBigRedX, which marks the spot if you've forgotten. So if you've got that device, do make sure you're up to date and unlocked, and then get to rooting. And finally, to wrap things up, XDA recognized developer Sultan XDA has released a ROM for the OnePlus One that adds in support for 1080p video recording with the front-facing camera. At this point, it appears to be the only ROM for that device able to actually do that, so if you're still using the One as your daily driver, and you're maybe into vlogging or something, you might be interested in checking out his ROM. But you know what? That's gonna be about all from me for today. You can find all the links to all the stories that I talked about down in the video description, as usual, as well as the links to my YouTube channels, which you'll probably want to check out and subscribe to now. Remember, if you like this video, please do leave us a like down below the video. We definitely appreciate it, and subscribe to receive all of our videos as soon as they become available. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.